Hello everyone. I am Dr. Soundara Raj. I am happy to interact with you all through this video. In this video, I am going to detail three exercises and their solutions that I have prepared in the chapter Marginal Casting. The three exercises are related to the calculation of break-even point sales both in units and value when there are changes in variable cost per unit, fixed cost and also selling price per unit. These are all a few details related to my career. After you watch the full video, if you find the video beneficial to you, give a like to the video and do subscribe my channel. You also click the bell button so that you will get the updates of the new videos that I will be releasing. Let's look at the first sum. Estimate the impact on break-even point of the following changes. A. Variable cost is increased by 10%. This is situation number 1. B. Variable cost is decreased by 50%. And fixed cost is also increased by 30%. These are all the two situations given in the problem. For the two different situations, we need to find out the break-even point. Given particulars are below. 1. Fixed cost rupees 15,000. 2. Selling price per unit rupees 15. 3. Variable cost per unit rupees 9. Now, what is the formula for calculating break-even point in units? Total fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit. This is a formula we need to make use for calculating break-even point in units. Let us first calculate the break-even point in units for the standard situation. Wherein fixed cost is 15,000 rupees, selling price per unit is 15 rupees and the variable cost per unit is 9. Now, Total fixed cost is 15,000 rupees given in the problem directly. But what about the contribution margin per unit? That we need to calculate. The formula for calculating contribution margin per unit is selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. Selling price is rupees 15. The variable cost is rupees 9. Therefore, the difference between the two, which is 6 rupees, that's nothing but contribution margin per unit. Let's apply the total fixed cost and the contribution margin per unit in the formula for calculating BEP in units. 15,000 rupees divided by rupees 6 has given us 2,500 units of break-even point for the standard situation. Now let's get into the revised situations regarding A situation if variable cost is increased by 10%. What is going to be the revised variable cost per unit if there is an increase of 10% in its value? The standard variable cost given in the problem is 9 rupees per unit. Now, along with the 9 rupees, we add 10 percentage of the same. We come to know the revised variable cost in situation A as 9 rupees and 90 pays per unit. Now, let's apply that in the formula for break-even point in units. Total fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit. Now, BEP in units is equal to 15,000 rupees total fixed cost divided by contribution margin per, un per unit is equal to 5.10. How it is computed? The selling price is 15 rupees. There is no change in situation A with regard to selling price per unit. But with regard to variable cost, since it is increased by 10%, it has become 9.90 per unit. Therefore, the revised contribution margin per unit has come to 5.10. If you simplify this calculation, you get the break-even point in units with 2,941 units. That's the answer for situation A. What about the changes taken place in situation B? If variable cost is decreased by 50% and the fixed cost is increased by 30%, this is what we find. Now let's calculate the revised variable cost. Since it is decreased by 50%, it becomes 4.50 per unit. From 9, if you reduce 50 percentage of 9 rupees, it comes to 4.50 per unit. That's a revised variable cost per unit in situation B. Then revised fixed cost. Since the fixed cost is increased by 30%, 50 
15,000 plus 30 percent of the same as given as 19,500 rupees as a revised fixed cost in total. Now let's calculate break even point in units for situation B. Total fixed cost 19,500, contribution margin per unit, it comes to 10.50. How it is calculated? The selling price is the same 15 rupees, whereas the contribution margin is calculated after deducting the revised variable cost. The revised variable cost is 4.50 in situation B. The same is subtracted from the selling price 15 rupees. So we have come to know the revised contribution margin per unit as 10.50. If you simplify this calculation, we get break even point in units that comes to 1857. This is what about sum number 1. I hope you understood sum number one very clearly. This is one of the very important problems. Right. Let me take you through sum number two. From the following particulars, find BEP in units. Variable cost per unit is 15 rupees per unit. Selling price per unit, 24 rupees per unit. Fixed cost in total, 54,000 rupees. What should be the selling price per unit if the company wants to take up BEP to 9,000 units? Let's first calculate the break-even point in units for the given situation. Then followed by, we will calculate the selling price at which the company could have 9,000 units as its break-even point. That is what we are going to find out. These two things we will try to calculate in this problem. Let's first calculate the BEP in units for the standard situation. The formula as usual, total fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit. The fixed cost is given in the problem that is 54,000. The contribution margin per unit is nothing but selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. Selling price given in the problem is 24 rupees. Variable cost is 15 rupees. The difference between the two is 9 rupees. So 54,000 divided by 9 rupees has given us 6,000 of break even point units in the standard situation. Now what is the change recommended in the problem? Calculation of selling price per unit if the company wants to take a BEP to 9000 units. If they want the BEP to become 9000 units, what should be the selling price per unit? Let's write the usual formula for calculating break even point in units. BEP units equal to total fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit. Now we know the answer that's a break even point in units given in the problem as 9000 units. This is the answer we know. Let us incorporate the possible items that are given in the problem. What is given in the problem with regard to this formula? Total fixed cost is given, therefore we have written rupees 54,000 total fixed cost. Divided by contribution margin per unit, that is the one we need to find out. We can add variable cost with the new contribution margin per unit so that we can come to know the new selling price per unit at which the company will have the break even point in units as 9000. So contribution margin per unit will be calculated here. Now 54,000 using cross multiplication, the contribution margin per unit will go there. 9000 units will become the denominator. So 54,000 divided by 9000, it has given us the revised contribution margin per unit as rupees 6. Now revise the selling price per unit is equal to the same old variable cost per unit plus the new contribution margin per unit which is calculated as 6 rupees. So 15 rupees variable cost plus contribution margin per unit 6 rupees it has given us the selling price of rupees 21 at which the company will have 9000 units as its break even point. I hope you have understood sum number 2 also. Now let's get into sum number 3. You are given the following particulars for the coming year of a factory. Budgeted output 80,000 units. Variable cost per unit rupees 10. Whereas selling price per unit is rupees 20. The total fixed cost given in the problem is 4 lakh rupees. Find out the break even point. If the selling price is reduced to 15 rupees per unit, what will be the new break even point? Also, you find out the break even point if the selling price is increased to rupees 25. So, let us first calculate break even point for the given situation followed by 
we will find out the break even point if the selling price is reduced to 15 rupees from 20 then the next situation if the selling price is increased to 25 what will be the change in the break even point in units as well as in value we will find out now let's calculate the break even point in units for the standard situation be in units is equal to total fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit total fixed cost is 4 lakhs contribution margin per unit is selling price per unit 20 rupees minus vc per unit 10 rupees it will give us a contribution of 10 rupees and that is what calculated here so 4 lakh divided by 10 rupees it gives us 40,000 units as break even point in units in the standard situation in terms of value the B in units into selling price per unit if you multiply you come to know the break even point in value it is amounted 8 lakh rupees in the standard situation now let's go to the revised situation number one where selling price is reduced to 15 rupees per unit fine BEP in units the same old formula total fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit that we have written break even point in units how it is computed there is no change in the total fixed cost therefore it is written as it is but what about the contribution margin per unit in the first situation the selling price is 15 rupees that's a new selling price whereas the variable cost remains the same it is the same old 10 rupees per unit so 15 minus 10 it is given as a new contribution margin per unit of rupees 5 so 4 lakh divided by 5 we have come to know 80,000 units as the BEP in units in the new situation number 1 in terms of value BEP in units 80,000 into the new selling price 15 it has given us 12 lakh rupees as a break even point in terms of value in situation 1 what about the next situation where the selling price is increased to 25 rupees per unit let us calculate contribution the formula is the same break even point in units is equal to the fixed cost of 4 lakh rupees divided by the new contribution margin per unit how it is computed new selling price 25 minus the old variable cost since there is no change in the variable cost per unit it is written as it is so the difference between the two is 15 rupees that is a contribution margin per unit we have come to know the break even point in terms of units as 26,667. In terms of value, if you multiply the BEP in units with the revised selling price 25, it has given us 6,66,675 rupees. So these three problems are very small problems, but they are very important from the examination point of view. I hope. This video might be very very useful for the learners. Thanks for watching this video. I'll meet you in the next video. Bye for now everyone.